Hi guys, so today I have two cute new sets to share with you from Diamond Press. Uh, these items they brought to HSN's site for the uh, craft day. Uh, much about you and your perfect stamp and die kits and I'm pairing them together because um, they're for those pet lovers out there and I just thought it'd be really cute to have them in the same video perhaps on the same project so let's open these guys up these were sent free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own and any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchase items through those links so thank you for using those so I'm going to take a moment to open these guys up for whatever reason, I've been having a hard time opening these recently. Anything wrapped in like cardboard. Uh, so we have this one here. Oh, the Mutt's About You. Look at that little guy. This little guy is special. I'll show you in a minute. And I think that, there we go. I got right under that glue. Okay. And then um, the little kitty cats. And I believe this is the one that's also has a little special something going. So. Again, these are thin metal dies, and they will go through any machine that you have that cuts thin metal dies. Of course, the marquee um, is the machine that Diamond Press has created, and you can use these cutting folders that come in the kits for your marquee. So they're refills every time, which is really great. Uh, let's check this out. So Mutt's About You. I'll show you these little guys. And what I was saying that one is special is because, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little line. That little cut line cuts his little um, mouth area there so that you can tuck something in there, which is super cute. So we have the little doggy kind of in the wind here blowing on him. We have a fancy poodle, our little doggies. And I'm not familiar with super, like, super familiar with a lot of dog types, but here we go. Super cute. And this little guy has his cone, and he's not looking too happy. We have the little... Um, a rose, which again you can tuck under his little mouth here. Thought bubble, a speech bubble, we have the newspaper, little dog bone, um, a fan, which is super cute, the balloon, uh, ball, all kinds of cute little, like, look at the little band aid, oh my goodness, all kinds of little, um, like decorative pieces, oh my goodness, we have some poo here, <laughs> a little footprint or paw print. It's pod tea time, and just just for you, you know, you're fantastic, the fan. All kinds of different things, uh, sentiments there. Die cut word bubbles, I think that is so cute because they have die cuts for all of them and they're in the different directions, which is really great, left and right. Uh, word bubble icons and phrases, how cute to pop those in there, so, oh my goodness. I love the colorway on here like a little brown and just really cute um so you have all those different ideas tons of ideas uh, dies for all these cute stamps and again i love the colorway that they put on this carrier super cute nice size i don't know if I, um let me measure like like this guy he's like hmm, three and three quarter inches wide so you know it takes up a good amount of space there this little cutie's like just over two inches tall the poodle's a little smaller got these little guys look at this little guy he's so cute just about two inches tall sorry about that she's so super cute and then of course you have the newspaper and like the uh uh flower and then all the different sentiments adorable and then we have the little kitty cat one it says you're perfect and again this little kitty also has where it cuts that little space there so you can tuck something in and look at this one it has a little cone a little shot oh <laughs> and then um this one being more playful you have your rose you have the little hanging <laughs> cat those designs are that is so cute i love it um and then this one oh you have the little guy kind of popping out of the little gift with the uh, dies for that too speech bubbles left and right and thought bubbles a little party hat i was waiting for this i was hoping it had a little fish how cute <laughs> i love that uh little mouse toy uh yarn or ball of yarn the little um fish tank there a oh, love note the tiniest heart how cute are these and then again all the little sentiments and fun little things again a little mouse a paw print some are smaller and larger a little uh, feeding dish super cute what a catastrophe happy birthday to one cool cat thanks for helping me out <laughs> that's so funny i was like looking ahead and i'm like how am i gonna say it but when you say it it just rolls off right uh sees the meowment <laughs> you hear the cat's pajamas and back here we have all these again the little uh, thought bubbles with what they might be thinking or saying look at this <laughs> meows it hanging um and then this scratch marks or like a kind of heart-shaped scratch mark that is so cute you got to be kidding me um just lots of fun ways to dress that up and they're showing you some of those i like that it has different ideas and then your um, card ideas at the bottom too and then here are the dies that go along with literally everything 
and um, except for maybe the words, right? Yeah. And over here we have uh, like this little kitty from tail to foot is like two inches, and this one's about also two inches. This one's a little bit longer at three and a quarter, I would say, the image. Um, this one, he's like three and a half inches, so hopefully that gives you some idea of like the scope of what you're looking at there. So what I'm going to do is grab some papers, some ink, some, uh, we're going to do some coloring. So of course the paper I use is going to be some kind of paper that works with alcohol ink markers. Uh, I think that'd be a really cute watercolor too, a little soft, you know, coloring. Really, really adorable. But I will be right back. I have a scrap of marker paper loaded in there, and I'm going to put the little cat that can hold something in his little mouth and the little dog and the same card. And then of course they'll be holding something and then we'll do like a pattern background. That'd be really fun with some of the different uh, items here. So let's get this guy here. And this little guy, and to be honest, the dies are gonna be pretty close. I was just trying to find what I think is the best placement because like where the dies might be, give them the room. Um, I suppose, let me choose what I would like to put in their little mouths and I'll be right back. I think I have the kitty holding the little, like, love note and then, um, you know, we have the rose here, we also have the rose here, but I'll grab this one for our little dog. And I don't think they fit on this piece, so either way I'll stamp these in just a minute on it's the same kind of marker paper. And let's uh, get this on here, I always want to put it on the wrong way. And there we go. And some hybrid ink or an alcohol proof ink, whatever it is that you're using. Um, hybrid inks are nice because you can use them with water-based or alcohol-based mediums. You just have to wait for it to dry for the alcohol-based. Um, I would say you wait for them to dry completely for both what, you know things, but that's what they say on them. So nice, even pressure. Oh, I missed that whole middle spot. <laughs> there we go push in there a little better. Yep, and I'm missing it. That might have to do with this magnet here, but I don't know. Let's just get in there. I'm using the very edge of this for that. There we go. All right, so um, again, I'm waiting for that to dry, uh, and I'll stamp these guys elsewhere. I might still put this one here, but you know what? Let's not push it. I'll stamp these on another piece of paper and I'll be right back. I'm stamping these. The other thing is, I don't know how much room I'm going to have. I'm probably going to use a standard A2 size card, but we do have the little thought bubbles and speech bubbles, and I think we will use those. And again, lefts and rights, so it's really nice because I was like, well, I think she should be thinking something this way, right? And for him, it should be the opposite way. And I can grab them both off the same uh, set. Or again, you can grab the one that is in the doggy set and just make sure we have those so we have those um and what i'm gonna do is stamp them and then i'll come back and show you um what i would do to put the little icon in there so i'm just gonna stamp first and then we'll stamp the little icon or whatever it is that they're thinking about in there let's stamp perfectly there let's see Hmm, so cute. Okay, the doggy needs to be thinking about. I do like just like the little love, the little uh, yarn. That is so right, cute. So we have both here. Um, how about a little fish? So we can have them thinking. Then we have them both thinking about something like that. <laughs> so it has little fish. We'll remove these. Um, and then let's see from the other one. Should he also be thinking about food? Oh, <laughs> that'd be funny if you put the little little poo there. He's thinking about he needs to go outside. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and put his little. Oh, how about a little bone? That's cute. Okay. Super duper cute. Okay, so that's the second thing that we would stamp like in your little thought bubble or whatever. And put this here. And we just pop those down on there. So cute. All right, I'm going to go clean up 
and get some markers and I'll be back. And you know, you can follow along like looking at the inspo sheet if you want, you know, a certain color way that you want to do it. And I was definitely coloring my little cat gray, so I grabbed that. And some different brown colors for our puppy or however. So you can kind of take some inspo from there and, you know, just go for it. So I did grab a pink. I figured for the little nose and I used the bullet side. And just a little bit of pink. What you can get in this little paw area, if you like. Um, and since I'll make him gray, I like to start with light and then go to dark and then medium if I need it. So light, gray pretty much everywhere that's like in here. Maybe I'll leave some open for now. And again, I just do this really rough, guys. Rough. <laughs> so maybe in there and up to here. So just like one coat starting it off and then I'll go in with the dark with this one I'm using the bullet side just to get some shadows exactly where I want them like in here maybe echo that and you know just a little something just in there maybe around here you know I don't get too technical then I go to the medium I'll go back to the brush and kind of Get some of that out. A little bit wherever I was with the dark. And then I'll go back to the light. And I'm going to go in here with the bullet side. I might add a little more pink because you can barely see it. It was very light pink. Just to get in here. And then I'll just go and pretty much blend it all out. Blend that out. And if you want to give a little accent of pink like on the cheeks, you can definitely do that. I will just come back in. And then since this is white, I'm just going to give it the light gray like that. And I would just take that same pink, maybe on the brush tip side, and just kind of bring it in here. Just add a little something there. A little blush of pink. And let's pink up that nose a little more. And for the color, you know, I didn't think of a color color. Let's do red. Uh, so I'm going with the light to here. Medium. Well, a tip to really just get in there. And then I'm going to use the bullet tip side because it's very thin. Just to finish that off, maybe a little more of this one. Just to really get that color difference there. Um, and then our little bell. I did grab some of the um, glittery gel markers from Diamond Press, and I'm just going to color this little bell with like a glitter gold. Okay. And very similar with the doggy, I'll do the same thing. In this body, I'll be using the neutral colors, which are kind of like light browns. And then for his ears, I'll just go into um, like a chocolatey color. So chocolate light and chocolate medium. I think that's as much as I'm going to do. So again, I kind of come in here. That was the lightest color. And then maybe I'll come in with some medium. And then finish off with blending it through with the light again. And then his body will be colored in with the neutral colors. And same thing, you know, maybe a dark gray nose or however. I did bring some silver out for his little uh, name tag there, his little tag. And same thing with everything. So this little guy, you know, red rose. With this guy, so I want the envelope to look white, I'll just again take the lightest gray and just add a little bit of shading here and there just so it doesn't look forgotten and then a red heart you know and I'll be back so sweet the little fishy I did him in like turquoise or peacock which is kind of like a teal color turquoise color and some light green they came out really cute um, okay so we have these guys here now we can see right through that if you would like. I mean, it's pretty easy to see, but if you really want a better idea, let's go ahead and make the aperture. And 
you know what, I'll use this black paper. And then if we need it for a drop shadow, if we want to use it for a drop shadow, we have it, right? So let's do that. And that gives us a, just a better idea of where we're actually die cutting. Oh. And I'm just using a folder I've used before. And again, I just flip it always one side to other, and the other side. Cut on all four sides, guys, of your folders. You can definitely do that. Look how cute. Okay, so we can take that. And again, you don't undo it. You just kind of pick it up a little bit so you can see where you're cutting. And that way you'll have a better idea of where you're going to be uh, at and then where the little mouth might cut right so like that looks pretty good you want to make sure this drops right back down oop, into the same space that it was at before and then we want to take another piece of tape and really just stick that down and we'll run it through and that'll just give us a better idea that we got it right where we want it or super close to right where we want it. <laughs> and then I'll do the same thing for um, everything else if I need to look through it that's fine or if I need to make an aperture I'll do that. And you can just hold on to these sometimes people will keep it like just keep this for the next time it's already there you know and look at that and yep yeah, it cut right there. All right guys I'll be right back. And there's my last little piece I just cut how cute kind of more of a hybrid rose with the pink and the red there and so you know oh my goodness how cute we're gonna put that in there he has his little rose she's gonna have that little love note maybe just like that or like up here however you want to place it in there you don't need to have anything and of course we colored all those cute little guys there um, and then we have our thought bubbles and things so let me grab some paper to um, make our background and pull it all okay, together so I came across this card blank and with the rest of the card blanks wanted to go get one um, and actually it's a five inch square but as you can see it has a score line so it makes like an easel card and I thought yes why don't we do that so um, five inch square I cut two different matte layers this one's two and three eighths by uh, four and seven eighths. If you don't like working at eighths, you can definitely just do like two and a quarter by four and three quarters, or just map that whole section, which is two and a half by five. And I cut this other one, just a white piece of paper, supposedly, but look how they're so different. Uh, same thing, two and three eighths by four and seven eighths. I'm going to run this one through an embossing folder just to get some texture, which I always like to add a little something in when we can. Um, this one caught my eye. I was ooh. like, you know, it's all be fun. It's very artsy. So how about like this guy maybe here where we get like the most kind of little texture. I'll just run that through. And this one I'm just going to stamp all over. So um, what I think is I'll do is color things in, you know, depending on what I'm stamping. Uh, so, I mean, there's just so many cute little things on here. So maybe I'll take like the little bone. Uh, let me grab one of my smaller, this guy here. And then if it needs a little coloring, I'll do that. I think that'll be really cute. So, you know, just something there. I'm just making up some pattern paper. Of course, stamping off the side, I will put a scrap piece of paper back there so I don't just stamp all over. Um, and then, you know, there's like the little tennis ball and then maybe I'll stamp or like the baseball looking one and maybe some, you know, paw prints and some of these little hearts and just a bunch of random things. Just stamp them all over, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, so I just cut those in. I guess I could cut the smaller ones in pink just to echo the little kitty cat. But I just went with gray with everything, kind of keeping the gray, black, red kind of theme. Um, and then we have this guy. How cool is that? Now, of course, you can use either side. Ooh, hmm, that's interesting. Let's see. I kind of like this side. It looks more like concrete, you know? I think that looks cool. So I'll just uh, glue these both down, okay? And that's it for that. Okay, guys, so now that we have that on there, we have this. How cute. And then we are going to need a stopper. I think I'm going to put my sentiment here, but we'll see. So, um, so, okay, remember earlier we had made our aperture and I thought, oh, we can use that, you know, in case we would like to um, 
drop shadow. I mean, how cute does that look like? It looks like so much definition. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna put my little thought bubbles up here. And then when it's open up, you know, you just see our little characters and the little thoughts are down here. But just the other day, I had done a tutorial where we used some uh, packaging, a little thicker than acetate, um, to hold up our little quote bubble. But this time I think I'll just use some acetate. It's a little bit thinner and I'm just gonna use a little strip because I am going to sandwich it. I don't want to just stick it behind here since we can see. Well, it'll make sense in just a minute. <laughs> Let's take this guy. Not too high because I don't want it to really just flop over. So you've got to think about that. Um, let me put this to the side for a moment. We're going to do. Oh, you know, I didn't even stick his little letter down, did I? I just put it there. So I'll just stick that down. And then. We'll have all of this. Definitely making sure we have glue up here because that's where we're going to trap a little piece of acetate. And I'm going to sandwich in between the two pieces and I'm going to give myself a good amount of thickness there. Oh, actually that looks really cute. I did it more sideways. But if you want to do down and out like this, just a little bit. That looks really cute. And then, since I use an aperture to make our thought bubbles too. I have the um, outlines for those guys also and so again I'll just trap it in between these two. So I know it may be hard to see there's acetate there obviously and we're gonna put that guy there. Got something in my throat. I was just saying we're gonna put our little guy there and then put this guy here. Again just a little offset and then I'll hold those two and I'll just make sure yeah we're gonna be great and I'll do the same thing with this guy just in this opposite direction oh my gosh that little rose looks so cute in his mouth love that I did a little hybrid tea rose there <laughs> just gonna stick it down a little bit same thing so I'll grab a little piece of the acetate but going in this direction coming out this way and holding on to this guy Okay, and then we'll set all that up. So I'm drying a little bit, setting up. How cute! Oh my goodness, I can't even. We have that, and then and again, again, like I said, we need a stopper, and I think what I'm gonna do is like the little rolled-up newspaper. I think that's cute. So, and he's a good size, so I think that'll be good for this. So, um, again, I'm just gonna stamp it on some white paper. Use a little bit of gray ink, you know, to color it in a little bit. So I'll stamp it with some hybrid ink, and then I'll cut it out with the dye, and I'll be right back. here how cute is that and I eyeballed it so you know it's not quite exactly on there and then this guy this is just a dye press die I like to keep out because I like the shape of it um, for one of the kits and I'm just gonna cut this side straight and cut a little bit more off of that but I do like that it got a little dovetail there so just another thing you can do instead of just cutting it straight you know like in straight rectangular form but so I'll be right back our pieces I mean I can't even I think I'm just gonna stick them down flat though of course you can definitely put dimensionals but I feel like I want them to be just really secure where they are so let's put some glue right up to about where I think this guy would be I'm gonna peek out a little bit like that Making sure that's about right. Bring it in just a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. And that glue will dry clear, so no big deal. And then this guy, too. Again, I'm just um, making sure I'm not gluing this closed. 
right right on there check that out and this little guy can be kind of like in here oh that's so sweet okay so those guys are ready to go so the card looks like this when it's flat and then when you pop it up they have their little thought bubbles uh, i'm going to put dimensionals on the back of both of these and i'll be right back so let's go ahead and pop this on here oh my goodness uh, I'll probably put it up here somewhere. Thanks for everything. And then our little rolled up newspaper can be like here. You know, however far you like to pitch up your card basically. So if you bring it out further, it's going to be less um, pitched. <laughs> right? So look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love their little faces, super easy to color, adorable, so your card looks like that when it comes out of the envelope, adorable, and then when your, your recipient pops it up, they have it just like that, and you see these little guys, and then you have plenty of room to write whatever it is you're going to write on the inside. Oh my gosh, super cute. Thank you so much, Diamond Press, for sending these items for review. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the links in the description box. These are now available there on HSN. And as always, they have their 30-day price match guarantee. So let's say, um, you know, any sets go on sale during the actual um, event uh, on Tuesday, the craft day, you can get that back and they credit it back uh, to you, plus tax and everything. So, um, yeah, so you can always keep an eye out for that. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.